Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with all you need to know in 10. Wabash Valley authorities continue their search this morning for an armed bank robber. Investigators say a man robbed the Terre Haute Savings Bank in Riley Saturday morning at gunpoint. Vigo County Sheriff's deputies now believe the robber pulled into the parking lot, left for a few minutes, and then came back and robbed the bank. Detectives believe he could be from the area and hope someone recognizes this man or the pickup truck that he was driving. It's described as a two-tone maroon Ford F-150 from the late 90s or early 2000s. Just continue to ask anybody that may have seen a vehicle meeting that description. Uh, do not hesitate. Uh, if, if this uh, particular individual is from around this area, uh, undoubtedly there's going to be a tip come in, and we need the public's assistance in, in finding out who, who did this. Now, if you think you recognize the robber or the vehicle, do not approach. Deputies want you to call your local police or dial 911 immediately. For a more complete description of both the robber or the vehicle, log on to our website at WTHITV.com and click on this story. A pair of southern Indiana men sentenced for robbing a bank near St. Louis. 62-year-old Daniel Ravalette was sentenced to 26 years in prison, and 32-year-old Donna Long received an 11-year federal prison term. The two men pled guilty to the armed robbery of a bank in Lebanon, Illinois. Ravalette said he had planned to use the money to pay for his wife's cancer treatments. Long said he was going to spend it on Christmas gifts. A third suspect has pled not guilty. His case is still pending in court. Police are still looking for suspects this morning in a downtown Terre Haute shooting. Police say it happened around 3 Sunday morning near 6th and Wabash. They say they had been responding to a dispute at the 812 Club when several shots were fired just half a block away. Police estimate nearly 1,500 people were in the area at the time. Fortunately, they say no one was injured. However, they did find areas nearby where the bullets hit. If you have any information about this incident, Call the Terre Haute Police Department. A Vermillion County, Indiana man receives the maximum sentence for embezzling from a local business. Martin Russell was sentenced to 17 and a half years in the Indiana Department of Corrections for stealing money from White Construction in Clinton. Police say he embezzled more than $1.5 million while employed at the business. An Indianapolis man is behind bars this morning after police say he battered a Wabash Valley officer. The Davies County Sheriff's Department arrested Justin Allen Cole. He's charged with battery resulting in injury to law enforcement, along with resisting law enforcement and disorderly conduct. He's been held on bond in the Davies County Jail. Eight people are in the Knox County Jail this morning after what police are calling a major drug bust in Vincennes. It all happened at an apartment with the two people on your screen, Clinton Morgan and Kathy Borden. Police say they got an arrest warrant for Borden after she bought too much ephedrine from a store. When police got to the apartment, they found the two along with meth, pseudoephedrine pills, and other drug paraphernalia. Now get this, while police were still in the apartment, they say these six people stopped by, trying to buy drugs from Borden and Morgan. Police say one of them, Evelyn Schlammer of Vincennes, bought her, brought her eight-year-old son with her. The child has been taken into Child Protective Services. Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Jessica Hayes. Good morning, everyone. Eight minutes now before the top of the hour, and it's a beautiful start to your work week. Just a few light showers popping up on your Storm Team Fury. That triple scan you can see just to the southwest of Effingham County and just in various parts of the valley, but those are pop-up showers. They will move in and move out very quickly. We don't have a chance for widespread rainfall until later on tomorrow. Now here's a live look at your Vigo County Federal Credit Union Tower Cam. The temperature outside still a very cool 55 degrees to start your day. Humidity still very high at 89% and no winds right now. Although those winds will really pick up as we head throughout the day and we could see wind gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Now your high expected today 85 degrees so we're just a little bit above that average and a little bit below that average for your overnight low so that's a nice change. Now as we head throughout the day we'll have lots of sunshine and just a little bit of clouds again mid to upper 50s to start your day around noon time in the lower 70s and mid 80s for about the time you're getting out of work so it's a very nice day overall and here's a look at current temperatures for you in the rest of the valley right now again 55 in Terre Haute 64 in Mattoon 52 in Mattoon Mount Vernon. So it's a cool start to the week, but we'll see mid 80s for our highs today. Dan. Thanks, Jessica. Traffic is back to normal on Interstate 70 this morning after a Sunday afternoon crash. It happened in the westbound lanes just before the U.S. 41 exit in Terre Haute. 
State police say a dump truck towing a trailer loaded down with equipment was going too fast as it approached a construction zone and slower traffic. It smashed into the pickup truck in an SUV and also did minor damage to a fourth vehicle. It uh, took crews almost two hours to open both lanes of traffic. Two people were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Neither of the injuries seem to be life-threatening. Uh, as, as bad as the blue SUV looks behind me, she walked away and she's very lucky. Wild Best Valley farmers will be taking advantage of today's nice weather to harvest their crops. Last year, farmers were harvesting crops as late as December. This year, many farmers planted their fields back in April. Now, summer's warm, humid, and rainy weather helped the crops grow very quickly. Then, with one of the driest Augusts on record, the corn and popcorn crops are now dry enough to pick. Some farmers are almost done with their harvest for the fall. Now, with this early harvest season, drivers should be on the lookout for farming equipment. First, some safety reminders for farmers. You should avoid heavy traffic areas and use reflective tape on parts of the machine. You should also use turn signals and pay close attention to your surroundings. And for the rest of us, we just need to be patient with farming vehicles on the road. Also, be sure to pass wide around slow farm equipment. Uh, people want to get right in behind me. As soon as they tuck up real close to me, because I'm only going about 20 miles an hour, they can't see around to get around. Farmers suggest backing off a bit so the drivers can see around the machines. Now, when you're about to pass, do so quickly. The Terre Haute Children's Museum is even closer to opening its doors debt-free this morning thanks to a generous donation. Larry Paul, Paul Tanning Spa donated $15,000 to the Terre Haute Children's Museum. Now that money puts them even closer to their $5.5 million goal. They're great partners in our community, and we're just happy to have them as part of this facility. And, you know, when, when the building opens, people get to see what they've sponsored with their dollars. The Terre Haute Children's Museum will hold its grand opening September 24th. The Blues at the Crossroads Festival in downtown Terre Haute being called a success this morning. News 10 caught up with organizers as, as they cleaned up after the massive event. Event planner Connie Wren says she estimates there were about 10,000 people there Saturday night. And on Friday, there may have been close to 4,000 people. Connie says she does this every year to bring the community together. It was uh, amazing. It was. We had, the crowd was incredible. I mean, all the way back to past the old Chamber of Commerce building. And the fun continues this weekend in downtown Terre Haute with the annual Oktoberfest. That runs Thursday through Saturday at 9th and Cherry Streets. And I tell you what, Jessica, it's going to be terrific weather. It, it looks like be. all week we long. We had great weather weekend. this past weekend. Now we're expecting very nice weather this week. Just a little bit of rain, but we need the rain, so that's good news, too. Let's take a look at what we're expecting. Today's high 85 degrees, winds out of the west, around 15 miles an hour, with wind gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Lots of sun out there today, just a few clouds. Tonight we'll drop it down to 53 degrees. Winds will shift to out of the northwest around 10 miles an hour, so it may be a little bit cooler than what we've been seeing. Tomorrow, 82 degrees. Winds out of the south around 10 miles an hour. Now, the first part of tomorrow is going to be much like today, will be lots of sun, just a few clouds, temperatures in the 80s. But tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening is when we'll see some rain move into the valley. That will stick around for the overnight hours and Wednesday morning, clearing up Wednesday during the day, and then Wednesday evening we'll have rain move back in, continuing through Thursday. So basically we've just got a mix of some rain showers and lots of sunshine, but it's, it's overall not a bad mix because we've had such dry conditions. We really need the rain, but then in between that we've got lots of sunshine and just a little bit of clouds. Temperatures in the lower 80s and upper 70s, so you really can't beat that either. So well, it's, it's interesting because you were showed the average and it's higher than average when it comes to the highs and a little bit lower than average when it comes to lows and that makes it even nicer. Right, so it's nice overall. You can open your windows even during the day. It's nice to finally be able to open your windows after that long stretch we had in the 90s and some areas were breaking 100 degrees. So we'll take this change. Yeah, and I said and I was at the Blues Festival and I actually needed a sweatshirt when I was sitting out there because it was a little bit breezy, a little bit cool. So right, and I sat, ar sat around a campfire this weekend. So it was great. <laughs> I mean, what a nice change putting the sweatshirts on. It was great. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Jessica. Well, that's it for News 10 this morning. The news continues on the CBS Early Show. That's coming up next. We'll be back with a news and weather update for you in about 20 minutes. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. This has been the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast, News 10, leading the way. For local news 24 hours a day, visit WTHITV.com.